Well, welcome back once again, all my vintage dirt bike loving YouTubers, and thanks for your continuing support to my classic dirt bike TV channel. Now, a slight break from the normal classic dirt bikes we normally feature here on my channel, as this time we're going to check out a couple of iconic trials machines from the 1970s. So I hope you'll stay with me for the next few minutes as we check out a pair of 1978 CCM 350 trials machines from Joe Maxwell Engineering. Now these iconic trials bikes were originally built by CCM in 1978 and they were constructed in very small numbers as only about 105 of these bikes were ever made. Now they officially went on sale in September 1978 and all of the machines were completely sold out in just four months. Now back in 1978 one of these machines would have cost you around £1300 but nowadays there are very few of these 350s around and if you are lucky enough to still own one of these original machines and if it's an original bike from 1978 they can demand very good money on the open market. Although the good news in our particular case is that these machines are now being remanufactured by Scottish based CCM builder Joe Maxwell Engineering who is uh, now manufacturing complete frame kits of these 1978 350s. Now this featured bike we are looking at here is one of those Joe Maxwell Engineering uh, replica uh, models. Now these are almost uh, identical to the original 1978 bikes that uh, Alan Clues uh, put together way back in the day. Now these bikes have all the proper parts on them and Joe Maxwell manufactures the frames and uh, many of the other parts to complete one of these uh, lovely old 350 CCMs. Now an alloy fuel tank of course on these bikes and uh, this was just one of the many parts that CCM made for these machines in their Jubilee Works factory in Vale Street in Bolton in 1978. Now this bike's official title in 78 would have been a Mark II CCM 350T now I came across uh, these machines when they were on display at the 2020 Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show where they were causing quite a lot of interest among uh, nostalgic CCM trials riders. But it's thanks to Joe Maxwell Engineering and his new 350 frame kits that we may see more of these old 350 trials bikes on the tracks once again. Now these 1978 350 replica frames are constructed uh, using the very best available materials. As you can see here these uh, are basically just works of art in their own right and uh, of course after the bike's frame has been put together these are all uh, chrome plated to give this uh, fantastic finish. But these would certainly be a good bike building project to uh, put together one of these uh, iconic and classic uh, old CCM uh, 350 trials bikes. But basically uh, JME Engineering are now supplying everything that you would need to build one of these uh, 350 cc replicas. They supply complete kits for your 350 and in the kit you get the frame, the swing arm, the fuel tank, the seat, the side panels and the rear chain guard and uh, of course that leaves you to supply and fit whichever make or model of front and rear suspension that you'd like. But then again if you don't want the hassle of putting one of these machines together yourself you can always contact uh, JME for a quote and they will build you a complete uh, 350 
trials machine. Although, as I mentioned earlier, because there were very few of these original 78 350s ever made, it would be nice to see another one or two of these back uh, doing trials events. But these are very high quality frame kits, these uh, 350 uh, replicas, and uh, let's face it, who wouldn't want one of these lovely machines sitting in their workshop? Now, during this bike's development in 1978, Alan Clues employed legendary trials rider Nick Jeffries to help develop these 350 machines. Now, the motor is a single cylinder four stroke 345cc engine, which of course was a variant of the old uh, BAC B40 motor, which was widely used in the BSA uh, C15 road going machines. Now it had a bore of 79mm and a stroke of 70mm. Now the ignition was by a generator electronic advanced magnetic trigger, which was uh, basically electronic ignition for short. Now these bikes also had a five plate clutch with a Cush drive uh, fitted. Now, as with all the other CCMs, these 350s had the engine oil in the frame, which in 1978 would have been about three pints of the old Castrol GTX 2050 oil. Now, in this particular picture, this is a picture of an original 1978 350 CCM, which I spotted at the Revival Scramble in 20. 18. Now although the graphics and the paint has gone uh, on the fuel tank, this uh, you can see that this bike looks uh, exactly uh, similar to these machines that uh, Joe Maxwell Engineering are now uh, producing. But nevertheless, as I mentioned, there are very, very few of these old 350 Allen Clues trials machines uh, out there so hopefully in the future we will see a few more doing trials events. Now back in 1978 these original 350 CCM machines were fitted with Italian Marzocchi forks with uh, also a pair of Marzocchi piggyback shocks uh, on the rear. Now they would also have been fitted with a pair of Gramica uh, front and rear hubs in 78. Now this particular bike is an original uh, 350T that uh, Joe Maxwell had on display at the uh, 2020 Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show and as you can see there is not a lot of difference between this original machine and the new replicas that Joe is now manufacturing. Now in 1978 CCM stated in their original sales brochure uh, that these 350s pull like a Thames barge, which uh, at its time was a bold statement and uh, in its way probably true when you consider they were probably referring to these uh, BSA uh, 350 motors. But of course if these trials bikes are what you're into and you'd like more information about these superb uh, replica frame kits then just log on to the Joe Maxwell Engineering uh, website for more information. Now coming up you have more of these classics lined up to feature here on my channel and if these are the kind of machines you like to see then please just subscribe to my channel in order you don't miss a single machine. So thanks again for taking the time to watch my videos and I hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. So until next time be safe on those off-road motorcycles and we'll speak again very soon. This video was brought to you in association with Worldsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.